looking at me i'm looking back hi you all how are you welcome back to our channel and welcome to part 2 of facebook made me buy it so these are the other three companies out of the six that facebook recommended us so tommy dean columbia 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 sorry if we butcher any of these and subloom So Subloom is a jewelry brand which is supposed to be supposedly really good, and Tom and Dean and Columbia are uh, bad, bad, bad companies. So now got, uh, uh, Tom and Dean is not leather; uh, it's vegan leather, and uh, Columbia was real leather. I don't know if they're designer inspired, designer copy, designer duplicates, designer dupes. I am not aware of that because I did not do a research on whether they were copies or. Uh, and of course they don't have any other branding they have their own branding so i would say they're dupes if they if they're designer dupes i don't know but i like the style so we, that's why we picked it up and subloom of course i don't know i i guess everyone must have seen that on their facebook feed they are very aggressive in advertising and they have this jewelry brand which has all these kinds of unique pieces so we thought let's just try that so we got about six jewelry pieces no, is there more than that i, I think. think a few more sorry we went a little bit over and then, <laughs> and then from tom and dean we have two bags and then from kulumia we have two bags so we will see how those go oh yeah and don't forget like and subscribe and the notification bell to make sure subscribe and comment so without further ado let's get into the video we started off and um So all the packages come uh, the uh, they came in these little boxes there were black boxes which says subloom on it Go through the city on some big shit and shout out all my niggas that I came with. Now we all rich, yeah, yeah, we own it. Whole team rich, I put you on it, put you up on it. Oh. Pussy fire is thirty three. Every time I call, it's controlling me. Ring, ring, I put your name on it. Ring, ring, I put diamonds on it. Oh. I can't let go. I'm sad. Uh, the packaging is really, really, really beautiful. So uh, they were all kind of packed really nice, so they wouldn't break. All of them pri were priced at nine dollar ninety five cents. We have nine pieces in all, and I can start with mine. The first one is what is it called, Lisha? Falling star. Falling star crystal necklace. Necklace. Earrings. 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 So. Oh yeah, sorry. Oh, Earrings. Oh, I dropped something. I see, oh okay. I the see back that. of this. Yeah okay. So uh, this is how it looks. Just give me a second. I'll just put this back in. uh this is the falling star uh earrings they look really 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 pretty as you can see they're really pretty then the second thing i got was it's a chain i think i it's a gold multi layer choker necklace oh okay i for, i forgot what we ordered because it was it was yeah. for christmas So it comes in different pieces. So as you can see, there's one piece which is this. Then there's another one which is the the choker part, which is this. So since this kind of a, a a style is very popular, it's called paper clip style, I think. This is what it is, and there there is another piece which is then the uh, longer necklace. And the third piece that uh, I ordered. was roman stud earrings so these are called roman stud earrings so as you can see this of course is the stud earring the roman letters here so this is of course a copy of that i think it's tiffany style uh, which is it's a copy of so these are the three pieces that i have jan what what do you got baby So what I got? Oh, it's a butterfly! Oh my god, I love butterflies. That is called the Beauty Butterfly Pendant Necklace. I love butterflies. Oh my god, it's so. It's, oh my god, it shines. It shines. I love. Take it out of the packaging first, right? Um, Take it out of the box. It's okay. And then the other thing I got. Is, what is this? Ooh, it's 
These have the little butterflies going all around the necklace as well. Oh, wow. That's pretty. The hanging teddies. Oh, my God. I love teddies. Look at that. And those are called the hanging bear oh. drop earrings. I love these. But with Jan's, the earlier necklace, as you saw, it has these all these little butterflies all around it. So that's a little unique touch. I love, I literally love this. Also, this is the small little touch, but the Betty, uh, the bear has like a little um bow right there. I don't know if you can see that. And yeah, I really love these. Yeah, I think that's really pretty. Right. Uh, so first thing I got is the it's cute. Uh, moon and star pendant necklace. Yeah. So it comes like this. It's a little tangled at the top, but. Looks like this. The moon and star, if you can see that, look like that. It's really cute. The moon is just an outline of the star. But in the photo, it does look, uh, it does show the star threaded through. So I'm just going to do that real fast. That's how you have to wear it so it stays together. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot. Yeah, we can do that. Um, while I show you the second one I have, which are these earrings. These are super cool. They've got little... These are called the Blue Galaxy Drop Earrings. They've got a little um, astronaut. I'm sorry if it's glaring. It's got a little astronaut hanging onto the moon. And then it's got, like, I would call Saturn because it's got a ring. With a really pretty blue. And these are both in a gold bit. These are super cute. And thank you, Ria, for threading them. But that's how it's supposed to look with the start up. Oh. It should look like that, I guess. It would be on your neck, but the star would thread it through. Okay, and then I got a necklace and an earring. So first, I have these cute little earrings that are fishtail earrings. They are adorable. Um, they are little, like, mermaid tails, kind of, on the end. And they are hoops. Not, like, hoops hoops, but they have, like, a hoop coming off of them. So, oops, I just dropped these tiny little earring bags. But look, they have this gorgeous little crystals surrounding them. And then they have the little mermaid tail just popping off, which I think is such an adorable touch. And the second one I got is um, a necklace, and it is called the Five Star Crystal Necklace. And this one, it's just a little nice gold necklace, which hangs down a bit, and it's it has this really unique, like, unevenish kind of style. So the stars go up one side, and they become smaller as they go up. And the biggest ones are at the bottom. I think this is really yeah, unique really and gorgeous. Yeah, that's really pretty. So Sublum was really nice, except for yeah. that one necklace little mishap. But I thought Sublum was really nice, yeah. good quality jewelry, especially for the price. Yeah, especially for the price. So I mean, I wouldn't really... say it's exceptional quality. But it's like something that you can wear for a little while. It's a fancy thing. It's stylish. Uh, and even if it breaks, it's not going to break your heart. Oh, like, uh, whatever. <laughs> it's only 10 bucks. Yeah. So, uh, the second company that we are uh, reviewing today is Tom and Dean. Which is a purse brand. So it's a bag brand and this is all vegan leather. Uh, and uh, we got two bags. Obviously, I had to get two bags. And I, you can see the ad now. Get a thing, girl, I've been on it She been bustin' on it like a sun on it I'ma let you in, you gon' feel on it I'ma let you in, I got five on it Dolo through the city on some big shit And shout out all my niggas that I came with Now we all rich, yeah, yeah Okay, so the first bag is called the Handbag Luna This is in black color Sorry, please pardon all this noise <laughs> Uh, with the plastic. They are so, quite well packed, as you can see, box and then tissue and then bag, yeah. bag to the bag. So uh, there's a duster bag. Let me open that. And this is the bag which is called the Luna. Now I have not opened it, so it's brand new. Uh, I am also seeing the bag right now with y'all. So it opens out like that. There are these handles. So it looks really, really nice. And uh, it has a pouch in the middle where you can put things so that they don't fall out. Uh, also, the bag does not have a zipper on top. So the only way to close it is with this. You just put this on here. 
and you close it like that so that's a nice thing and then they have provided you with a long handle in case you want to do it a cross body or a side shoulder bag uh i think that's nice too and the inner material there is no inner lining in the bag so as you can see in here there is no inner lining in the bag and this is the pouch that they've provided along with the uh, strap and so you this can is remove the pouch the pouch is removable the pouch is removable and this is all vegan leather so this is the first bag and this was for uh, $32.99 i think for $32 i mean it's okay like it's it's not exceptional but it's okay i think it's a nice bag and you can use it as a day bag or wherever when you're going grocery shopping for that is pretty good okay so then it's mine and mine is in blue and it's called the angelina so it has a snap one of the metal snaps in the front and on the inside again it has your pouch which comes removed but you can add it in because you see we have the snap it there and again which is blue and now it has this adorable little strap this one is fun and multicolored. Yeah. It has a little fun splash. Um, otherwise, though, it just has one handle. No, so the handle, I think, is supposed to come from the middle, right? Or no, like, I think, like let me just see. I think the handle oh, is, my God. is supposed to come through this. the middle. And that's adorable. And you just have it like that. You can have all your stuff in here. Take your little pouchy thing, which is great for, you know, your little makeup things, lipstick, chapstick powder mascara all that stuff and it just goes all in there and, and of course you have this closes. long uh, uh, strap which you can use to make the bag longer and let's just put put it on and see how it looks i have this it's okay <laughs> but i think this bag is really adorable really yeah i think the color is really pretty for one and uh, the bag is actually quite sweet so you can hold it like this maybe you can put the uh, uh, flap over like that and then you can have this and you can adjust the length of the strap which i think is really really nice well, i think this is a really unique bag you don't see as many brightly colored yeah. ones out many days so i feel like this is really cute little hanging action going on and I this like bag this. was for $39.99. I think for that price, this bag is completely worth it. Somehow I feel the Luna does not look very, uh, it's not very expensive looking. It's a slightly cheap looking bag. I mean, even if you look at the stitching, the sti stitching shows the back like this, which uh, is not very pretty. Uh, but I think this particular bag, which is the Angelina, I think Angelina looks nice and expensive. So I think Angelina is worth the price, but I think Luna is not worth the price. And I want to all. point out, it is pretty spacious. If you do ask me, because as you guys can see, I already have our neon sign in there and it can fit an iPad. So I'm a pretty big yeah. bag. Yeah, this is a good this bag. bag for you. So that's a good bag to have. So let's move on to the next one that we ordered from, which is Kulumia. So the next brand is Kulumia. It's spelled C-O-L-O-M-I-A. Again, this is a targeted Facebook ad towards us. And you can see the ad now. Wanna get a thing, girl, I've been on it. She been bouncing on it like a soft on it. I'ma let you in, you gon' feel on it. I'ma let you in, I got five on it. Go through the city on some big shit. And shout out all my niggas that I came with. Now we all rich, yeah, yeah, we own it. Own team rich, I put you on it, put you up on it. Oh. Pressing five and thirty three. Every time I call, it's controlling me. Ring, ring, I put you on it. Second, I'm money talk. Big things, pasta on it. Big 
we got two bags from this place. One like a larger brown one and one like a lighter brown one. Okay, and this took the longest time to arrive. It took about four weeks. And uh, uh, I kept on tracking uh, this and I, I, there was no updation of the tracking. So I kept on thinking, have I been scammed? Uh, am I not getting the bag? Oh, and these bags weren't exactly very cheap. So I was like really worried. And I was thinking maybe I should cancel the order or call my credit card company and cancel the purchase. Uh, but anyway, in the end, we got the bag. So it, it's a great pleasure that I show you this bag. This first one is called the Unique Design Mini Ball Shape Handbag. The size was large. The color is brown. And it cost me $83.56. Also, a lot of these uh, uh, brands that we ordered from, it come, comes in a dust bag. It was not packed really well. It was mushed up in uh, in one bag. It was like, I don't think the packing was very good. Uh, but anyway, um, the bag is here. And I will need to somehow straighten this uh, handle, which I don't know how to do. So I'll have to figure that one out. So if you have any ideas how to straighten this, uh, then please do let me know. I would love to hear from you people. So this is the bag. Now this I feel is a designer inspired bag. I saw uh, Megan, Megan Markle uh, carrying a somewhat similar bag in green. And of course she, uh, I don't know what brand it was. I just saw a fleeting picture. But this looks somewhat similar to that. Now if the way it opens it, you open this and it opens like this. And of course they have stuffed it with a lot of paper. Save the trees, people. Yeah, but they still have to stuff it otherwise yeah, it's completely yeah. destroyed, right? Yeah. Um, so it, it can uh, it can take a lot. Uh, it's not as much for like wider stuff as much as like smaller. So it it has a lot of space in here, as you can see. It has one pocket in there. This is supposed to be cowhide leather, I think. Uh, it doesn't say on my, uh, but it, it, this is supposed to be leather. So you put your stuff in here and you close it like this. Okay. And I think this is an adorable bag. Like, uh, uh, it, and it says something like produced by cobbler. I don't know what that means. No. Uh, it smells, yeah, it smells of it leather. It smells like of leather and yeah. it has a little leather sample. As yeah. if you can't sample the bag, you know. Yeah, but I think this is a good bag. Uh, uh, even with this price, it's a good bag. The only thing I would say was the, the shipping was, uh, I was very worried. Like, I thought I got scammed or something like that. So, that was very worrying. But in the end, I think this is a great bag to have. Uh, uh, it's, like, designer-inspired. Uh, at least, I think it's designer-inspired or should be. Or uh, it, it's a beautiful design. So, yeah, I think this was a worth the price for $83. So then mine is a cowhide, cowhide retro simple saddlebag price at $73.56. So again, it came in this bag which has a D on it with don't know why. And it has two pieces of cardboard keeping it saddly up. And then again, duster bag. And then has another piece of cardboard keeping it saddled up. And then, so this one on the front says original and ing. So, that what does it say? say? Columbia, it says original and ing. Okay, so, um, red flag kind of. It's a very unique saddlebag as it, it opens yeah. up at the top and then there's a tie. So, I'm just going to pull out. And so, inside we have our strappy. We have Piper keeping it tabbly. Mm -hmm. I think this is a beautiful bag though. It's, it's gorgeous. It's it absolutely has, gorgeous. Oh, it has two choices of that. So you can either have a thicker or thinner one. And then it has more papel in it. And then, so basically, let's take yeah. the thicker strap. I'm vibing with this one at the moment. They really packed it well. Like, <laughs> I literally cannot even open this. <laughs> But it's a gorgeous bag. And I think this bag also is, it looks like designer inspired. Here we go. Okay. Don't know. If, yep, I did this right. So first of all, here it is. And say I want to get something from it. First, it's tied up at the top. It's maybe a little annoying to keep getting in and out of. But they have this slip knot. So you can just stuff it back in through the slip knot. And it saddles. See, Mom? 
Yeah, I think it's a yeah. Flip it through the knot and you unflip it. And then at the top, it opens. You do have to stretch it out a little bit. It has a little wallet slot. That was a silica package. It has a little wallet. It has like, you know, your card slots. And then it has a pocket on the inside that this would be hard if you're in a rush trying and to find uh, something. Yeah, there's a pocket at the back there also, which is a, a zippered pocket, pocket which is a great thing to have. And it's really spacious. Oh my oh god, my. the zippered pocket is amazing. So and that they, it also has a wallet card thing right there. And it may be a little challenging if you're in a rush and you have to undo this, this, and search in this. Because it is a little dark because it goes down so deep. But I think it's a beautiful bag. It's beautiful. Like, it smells I would, of... I would get this again in a heartbeat. It smells of leather. Yeah. I would get this bag again in a heartbeat. I think it's a gorgeous bag. I think both these bags, they are gorgeous. They're simply gorgeous. Like, I would get them again in a heartbeat. And, and for the price... Oops. <laughs> I think we have got a little bit too excited. <laughs> Yeah, but she's not keeping these bags. These are mine. <laughs> Just to put that in perspective. I think for $83 and what was the other one? Uh, $73. For $73, these are completely worth it. They're leather. They're soft. Uh, uh, they feel nice. The design is beautiful. They're spacious. They're spacious. Uh, they're completely... I mean, these bags are practical bags. These are not impractical bags that you can have. Uh, just a bag, which is a designer bag, but it is... Uh, it is impractical to use. Uh, while these may not be designer, they, they look to me designer inspired. And I would say... I actually love them. And I would say between this one and Tom and Dean, to splurge a little more and get these ones because these there's a significant quality difference. Yeah, I would agree So that. I'm not sure how sourced they come from Colombia because this one has Chinese or Japanese labels. And this I one says it's more like Chinese. original and ink on it. So I'm not sure if they come from Colombia exactly. But Colombia, uh, well, so uh, I, uh, the uh, uh, shipping came from China. You know, I have to say that uh, it was, I don't know, uh, I can't even pronounce that name. So it came from China. But at the same time, I feel these bags are worth it. So uh, when you compare it to Tom and Dean, like Ria already mentioned, there is a significant I mean, a significant quality difference. So I would say just add, like those were about 30 to $35. And this is about 80, this is about 70. Add that extra 20, $30, $40 and buy this bag. You will end up using these more and uh, leather uh, wears well. You know, it, it weathers also uh, over a period of time. It becomes softer and nicer. So I would say splurge and, and buy these bags. So sort of going with Tom and Dean, I, I like the the blue bag in Tom and the Dean. Angelina yeah the Angelina I would say that you know if you want to use something on an everyday basis go for it uh, the Luna I was not very crazy about because I didn't like the stitching and, and the way it came out but these two bags I absolutely love and we will love using and I will love wearing these and 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 uh, uh, wearing them with all my outfits so these are the three companies that are in part two uh so I hope you enjoyed watching about them Make sure to watch part one as well if you haven't already seen it. And thank you so much for spending time with us and watching a video. We absolutely loved having you here. We appreciate each one of you. Uh, I hope you have a great year ahead. Uh, I know last year was a bit of a bust, but I hope this year turns things around for everybody and uh, everybody has a great year. And we'll see you in, in another video very soon. Thank you so much and bye. bye. Thank you.